guys, welcome to BT Travel. It's Natasha King, your Bajan Chores today. And we are here at Worthing Square. We are gonna be checking out the Aki Tree. They make some fantastic Creole food. We're gonna sit down and we're gonna talk with the owner and chef, Gina Field, and she's gonna tell us all about it, how it came about, and how she makes her food taste so good. She puts a lot of love into it and I cannot wait to have some today and tantalize my taste buds and tempt all of you to want to come down to Aki Tree. So let's go and talk to Gina. Gina, I am so happy to be here today at Aki Tree, one of my favorite places. And from the looks of it, one of the favorite places of all the visitors who've come to Barbados. You are actually a TripAdvisor Hall of Famer, Aki Tree. Oh yes, 2017, we became um, one of um, the members to be on the Hall of Fame of TripAdvisor. That's because we would bid them for six years and our uh, reviews have been 4.55 stars every year so yes we are very proud of that and we thank our customers for the high praises they put in the aki tree well you couldn't get the praises without the food the food is fantastic tell us about the genesis tell us how aki tree came about okay well aki tree started actually in the backyard of one of our homes it wasn't called the aki tree at the time it was called the tool shed and it was more of a drinking spot, but my friends that knew me and knew I could cook, we would do a dish every Friday night and serve it up to them. We put out, um, asked our friends to come up with a name for the Aki Tree. And I have to give credit to one Darren White. He did, he came up with this whole story of how the Aki Tree is um, important in Barbados. And being me being Trinidad and my husband being Bajan, we love the idea because you would lime under the Aki tree and play dominoes and have your drinks and your food. And we thought, oh Lord, that's such a fabulous idea for our name. 17 years and three locations later, the Aki tree is literally a melting pot for Caribbean food in Barbados. You're known for your curry. Yeah. But Aki tree is so much more it, it than is, just roti. It is so much more, and every year or so, um, we come and we create new dishes, but we always use the items we have so we don't have to overstock. So we came up with this new dish called the Aki tree poutine. Mm. So it is actually curry with either, you could have your choice of meat, shrimp, beef, lamb, goat, chicken, and then we've created our own sauces. Okay. So I've come up with a spicy mayo, a garlic mayo, and of course our famous salmon sauce that's got to go on it. So that is actually the dish we're going to do for you today. Oh, I cannot wait. Tell us a bit, before we get to that though, tell us a bit about some of the other dishes that you Right, so, for. well, we, you know we are, Creole. So what we do is we have like our cuckoos and some specials. We will do our pudding and sauce, curry crab and dumpling, all those things. We also do like from Grenada, we will do their oil dung and stuff like that. So we are not, as we said, we are not just Bajan or Trinidadian and it's not just about the curries. We can thank a longing for food from her native Trinidad years ago for the birth of this queen of Creole cooking because Gina was not always known for her prowess in the kitchen. My friends in Trinidad will have a good laugh, and they do because it's Gina Waller. She has a restaurant. That girl couldn't even boil water. And that is really how it started. I um, was missing my home food. And of course, at the time, that's 30 years ago, you couldn't find this wide range of, of West Indian foods in Barbados. So Gina would get in the kitchen, call up her auntie, call up mommy, how to do this, how to do that, and realize, listen, you really loved it. And when I met my husband, I would cook for his family and use them as guinea pigs. <laughs> and they were like, oh my gosh, I love your food. And they definitely aren't the only ones. So now it's time for me to throw my diet to the wind and try the newest dish on the Aki Tree menu. Okay, Gina, so... I'm so excited. My mouth is watering, you guys. It smells so good. Gina, tell me exactly what I'm eating here. Okay, so this is one of our new creations. It is yeah. called uh, the curry poutine. And with that, this one is actually the shrimp poutine. Poutine is actually a dish from Canada. And it's gravy mm. with cheese curds. But instead, we decided to make our own sauces. So we have a spicy mayo, garlic mayo, and our famous salmon sauce. Now, this salmon sauce you get nowhere else in Barbados. You cannot buy it on the shelves because it's a blend, our own blend, right? And yep, 
So this has only been on the menu for about six months or so, and it's very popular now. And I can understand why it is so delicious. You would never think curry and, you know, with this mixture that, but it's amazing. Gina, how? Please tell me how. Do you okay. get your food to taste? so good all the time well um, it is as you know um, this line of work is a lot of hard work but you have to love what you do and so far in this in my 30 years of cooking I still love what I do I still wake up feeling very excited every morning to come to work because then I can create something new for someone so I'm really really put all my love into my cooking and let me tell you something gina you can taste the love in it it's so good i feel so happy you know when you when you have to do that little happy, happy dance, dance oh. when you're eating food and it tastes good that's what's happening right here so guys thank you gina for spending some time with us and for feeding us this delicious food guys you have to check out aki tree whether you're here in barbados whether you're overseas the next time you get here aki tree the food is beautiful and you can taste the love in it so that's it for BT Travel. Thank you so much for joining us. And do what I just told you to do. Get down to Aki Tree and just taste the love. She's drunk off the food, I know. <laughs>